Welcome to UNV Academy. In this episode, we're going to introduce the configuration and settings of hard disks in the NVR. We will talk about the basic information of hard disks, show you how disk group and space allocation work, and explain advanced settings. Let's get started from the home page. Here we can view disk information, including total and free disk space, as well as disk status, type, usage, and property. All the added hard disks will be shown below. As we can see, two hard disks have been added to this NVR here. To add extended disk, you can click add in the bottom of the page. In the dialog box displayed, select disk usage, recording, snapshot, or backup, and disk type, currently NAS only. Enter the NAS server address and directory. Click Add after the settings are made. Please notice that only certain models support NAS storage. By clicking the blue gear-shaped icon in the configuration bar, you are able to modify the disk property. Here we provide you one usage option, recording, snapshot, and three property options, read, write, read-only, and redundant. We select the disk, and then click Format, if we would like to format a disk. One confirmation message box will appear. If you click Yes, the data on the hard disk will be erased. So please be careful, when formatting your hard disk. Usually each added hard disk works individually by default. And you need to configure the hard disk group manually. If you assign hard disks to a disk group, you can use the disk group to store recordings and snapshots of specific cameras. Once a disk group is created, disk group information will be initialized if any disk in the group is formatted. Make sure disk group is enabled. To set disk group, we click the blue icon on the right and select a group to which the disk will be assigned. We choose group 1 here. Then we can make the same settings for the other hard disk. Space allocation enables you to allocate some storage space for a specific camera to store recordings and snapshots. Here in the page, select the desired camera and then set the maximum recording space and maximum image space. For example, we set 12 gigabytes recording space and 10 gigabytes image space. Here is disk group in the middle. A disk group can be selected only when disk group is enabled under disk group. When we are done, confirm it by clicking Apply. It is optional to click Copy to apply the same settings to other cameras. Now let's move on to Advanced Configuration. This page gives you two options, to either overwrite the old data, or stop writing the new data on the hard disk, when hard disk storage is used up. We choose Overwrite here. Don't forget to click Apply to save what you have set. That's all for today's learning. Hope this will be helpful to you. Thanks for your watching. See you next time.